Hi there, thanks for joining me this morning. I just want to go through um, a few websites that I love to use for applique. Um, if you're not really sure what applique is, and I wish that I had taken the time to explain it in the first video that I did in this series when you're preparing your materials. So what applique is, is instead of using the thread to paint the picture of what you're trying to create, you will just tack down um, some fabric over that area instead of having it do a fill stitch. You'll tack it down with fabric. You'll put a piece of fabric and then it'll just do the outline of that piece of the embroidery instead of it doing a fill stitch. So I know that's really hard to explain. I mean, hard to imagine that but I'll show you here in a second, okay? So this video is just mostly going to um, focus on where I like to buy my designs the most, okay? And I know that there's tons out there. There's so many good designers. I can't, I couldn't pick, you know, if I wanted to, but I mean, I have my favorites, obviously, but there's so many that it would just be impossible for me to list all of my favorites. So I'm just going to list three of the ones that I use the most. And um, and let's just jump into it. My dog is whining in the background. She seems to do this every time I want to do a video. She's so um, jealous. <laughs> so I'm sorry if you have to, if you hear that in the background, I'm really sorry. All right, so first off is Etsy. Etsy is one of my very favorite places to buy all embroidery designs as well as cut files um, and graphics for digitizing. And um, you can find lots of applique right here on, et on Etsy. You can find simple ones. Your machine should come with these simple shapes though. Okay, I'm not sure about the triangle, but I know it should come with these simple shapes. And I don't think it comes with any, it comes with, my machine is a SC425 and it's a 4x4 hoop and it comes with um, a font that could be used as applique, but it doesn't really come, doesn't print out as an applique because an applique, you need your die line, which tells you where to put your fabric, you need your tack down. So you put your die line down on the stabilizer. You put your tack down on the, okay. Your die line goes on the stabilizer. Then you put your fabric down and then you place the next stitch is going to be your tack down stitch. That's going to, it's going to set that fabric onto the material. And then you're going to have your final stitch. So in applique, there's three steps but the applique font on my machine doesn't really give you those three steps in each letter. It just shows you the letter as an outline, so you could applique it. Okay, so on Etsy, there's tons of ideas, and there's tons of, you know, the price range is different, ranges on all different things, you know. Some of them are super adorable. And a lot of them are going to come with instructions, and some of them might not come with instructions. If it's very simple, it'll come out, you know, something like this. It's going to give you the steps, but it's going to be very um, easy, so it might not have the uh, instructions with it. Um, this is so cute. Look at these. I have yet to do one of these yet, but I really want to try them the little towels. So as you can see, Etsy has a variety and these are mostly um, all people who embroider, I mean, who digitize as their own business instead of, you know, I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> Etsy gives these people an opportunity, like people, regular people like you and me, to have a shop on Etsy and take your digitized designs and sell it. So my husband has a, a page on here. I'm not sure if he has very much applique though. You'd think that I would know. <laughs> I 
So if you're just looking for anything, you're looking for applique, you're looking for anything specific, um, just make sure that you type in applique. And um, in Etsy, you're going to get tons of results. Look at that. It's 568,000 results right here while we're waiting. <laughs> My computer's a little slow. Okay, so I typed in Clever Dog Designs, and it brought me all designs, I guess. You would think it would be more sophisticated than that. There it is. Okay, so let's see. Does he have applique? Oh, there. Yeah. Oh, yes. 20 applique designs. Okay, I'm not trying to, to plug him, even though I guess I am, but... <laughs> Here's all of his applique designs that he's created. And he's created them with so art. So if you're interested in creating your own too, look through our other videos. We have tons of videos on how to digitize your own designs using so art. Okay, so our embroidery digitizing software. All right, so that's Etsy. Etsy is really helpful. Um, if you need help figuring out how to transfer it, or how to download, hmm, let's see. Okay guys, so that's Etsy. Um, Etsy has all of everything on here, but um, if you're looking for applique designs, you can come onto Etsy, just type in applique or type in the specific type of applique that you're looking for. And, um, there's so many different ideas, so many different ideas. So we're going to close Etsy and we're going to go to my second favorite. And that's Urban Threads. And if you haven't been to Urban Threads yet, it's amazing. OK, and they're also part of Embroidery Library. I think that they're like sister companies. So if you go to Embroidery Library, they also have a lot of really beautiful designs as well. So I just went on here into Embroidery Designs Specialty, and then I chose the applique. And they have seven pages of applique, and they have sales all the time, as well as freebies. I, I don't know how many applique freebies they give away, but... Look how adorable these are. So they have them all um, as individuals, but then sometimes they will um, put all the individual designs into a pack so you can buy everything at once. I don't know why my computer's wigging out all of a sudden. So, yep, there it is. So the design pack right here is $22.41 and um, it gives you all the, all the pieces. Okay, here is a Sheer Magic Wings applique. So what you'll do is you'll take like organza and use that as the applique. And that's really pretty. Okay, so these are all pretty self-explanatory. If you haven't done any applique yet, so we'll take this one as a, um, what's the word? Uh, example okay so most likely what you're going to do is you're going to put your stabilizer on the machine or your stabilizer and your fabric um, onto the machine and then well if you're doing it on a shirt it depends on what you're doing the applique on but oh wait no it doesn't i'm thinking in the hoop i'm getting my mind mixed up with in the hoop okay so with applique <laughs> it you're going to put your material and your stabilizer in the hoop and then it's your first step is going to be the die line and that's probably going to be just an outline of this yeti guy and then it's going then you're going to put your fabric over it and then you're going to press number two and that's going to give us this tack down line right here this white line okay and that's going to give us our little outline of the little yeti guy so that'll be step number two and now step number three is just going to be the final step that makes it look nice. This one looks nice already. So this might only have st two steps. Excuse me, because it looks like the, the tack down is the same as the final stitch. Just in my guessing. 
Um, and then it'll print out all of, or sew out all of the, the fill stitch details. Okay, so applique is really fun. A lot of times it doesn't have both parts. It's just simple applique, but a lot of times it does have, you know, some fill stitching and some regular parts. Okay. I mean, fill stitching and some all, all fabric. But look how pretty that is. That's like a um, freestanding lace kind of look without having to do the freestanding lace. So there's 3D designs. That's really cute. So Urban Threads has a lot of really fun stuff, a lot of, you know, interesting things that you might not find anywhere else. I think edgy might be a good way to describe it, but um, just go through it. I'm not going to make you guys go through all of it in the video because I know this video is already going to be longer than I like, but you can, you know, applique just makes it really simple. So imagine if you try to do this specific design, but with a fill stitch in the back, that'll probably take 45 minutes just filling in this whole back stitch. With this, you just do your tack down, your die line, or your die line, your tack down, and your final stitch with fabric and you're done. It's fantastic. <laughs> That's so cute. So I don't know what side. Oh, that's cute. It looks like the, the spectacles are with plastic. So that's the applique part. So it, it looked like um, with a probably see-through vinyl. That's adorable. Oh, that one's really cute too. The only applique piece in there is just the bunny. Super easy. Mm -hmm. Really pretty leaf appliques. Here's some 3D appliques. Oh, I haven't seen these yet. Oh, I love these dinosaur ones. Those are cool. Oh, I have these. I have the ice cream ones. They're really cute. Okay. Oh, I love that. Okay. So I could do this all day. <laughs> the point is, is that there's a lot of appliques on here. And um, Urban Threads is really, 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 really wonderful about having all of the information about how to do each design and tutorials and stuff like that. They have a whole section on tutorials. And it's not just how to do their designs, but how to do embroidery and stuff like that. You know, sewing, embroidery, all of those things to help you be more successful. They're really, 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 really lovely. I would, I would recommend just going through this entire website. If you haven't done any freestanding lace yet, that's another thing that's really cool. But here's all the tutorials different things that you can do. Oh, I love those. Okay, so that's Urban Threads. That's a great place to find applique, really quality, nice applique. You're going to get beautiful stitch outs um, and, you know, peruse the rest of their site because they're really beautiful, beautiful stuff. Okay, and now this one is my all-time favorite. I am whenever I first started embroidering, I thought that their stuff was too babyish because I didn't know what applique was. And then once I learned what applique was, oh my gosh, I I totally um, ate crow <laughs> because I love their designs. Their, their site is my favorite. If I ever need anything, I go straight here. I, I had to take a break from, you know, every time that they have a sale, they would do giveaways. So I would buy everything to the point where when um, she would have a new sale, I didn't have anything that she didn't already have. So I have had to take a little bit of a break. <laughs> so the designer is Becca Louder. She's very, very nice. If you ever need anything, you can email her directly and she responds, you know, very, very quickly. Um, but here's all the free designs that she gives away. These are all super, super simple. Okay. And this is what we're going to pick. We're going to pick a design off of here to continue on to um, the next part in the series for machine applique. So um, if you want to follow along, 
come here to planetapplique.com, go into the free appliques area, um, right over here on the left-hand side, or is that my right? It's my left. <laughs> um, over here on my left-hand side, and um, find that design or another design, okay? So just real quick, like designs like this, they're going to have three or four steps because there's different colors as well as fill stitch going on. A design like this is going to have three simple steps. And this is the, the design that we're going to use to move on to the next parts of um, the series. But you can pick any of these. And if you, you know, are feeling really confident about them, you know, do different ones with different colors. This one is really cute, gives you two different colors. Same with that one. This is one, and then it gives you the cute little eyes at the end. If it was closer to Halloween, I might choose that one. But, you know, fish are really cute, and this applique can be used over and over and over again. And you can make it bigger or smaller on your machine, or if you have um, editing software, you can also change the size of it in there. So... Now, what I want to do from here is I want to download it so you can see how I get it downloaded um, and what I do with it. Okay, so I don't have my machine hooked up right now, so I won't be able to show you how to transfer it to your machine, but I will do that in the very next video because the next video we're going to grab this and um, we're going to transfer it to the machine and have it do the work from there. So I will come in and show you how to get it from your machine or from your computer to your machine, okay? But for now, I'm just gonna show you how to download it onto your computer. All right, I hope that all that didn't make your head spin. I know sometimes I talk too fast and in circles. <laughs> I am aware of this. Okay, so let's just click on it. And like I said, my computer's a little slow and it's taking a minute, but hopefully yours will go a lot faster. Okay, very simple design, simple gold goldfish applique. And these are all the different types that she offers. Okay. For me, I use PES, so product description. By a customer request, try the simple goldfish applique design. It features one piece of fabric and one color to stitch out. And best of all, it comes with both satin and zigzag stitching. Just perfect. And of course, it's free of what makes this embroidery machine, of course, it's free, which makes this embroidery machine applique design even better. So she gives you four, three different sizes, all the different files, file types, the finished size, fabric panel, one, two stops, three thread colors. Okay, let's go ahead and choose download. Now I'm using a Mozilla Firefox and it is different than downloading on Internet Explorer and also different than downloading on Google Chrome. So if you use a different browser and you need help with that, I can make a video, you just need to let me know, okay? So um, you can find me online um, at any of our sewing groups, as well as just messaging me right here on um, YouTube in the comment section under this video. Alrighty, so once you've clicked download in Mozilla Firefox, up here is where you're going to go to find it, okay? This is where the progress is and everything like that. That's the little indicator that things are downloaded. When it's blue, it says it's downloaded, okay? So I don't have anything else in my downloads that I've downloaded recently, so this is the only thing that's going to show up. So instead of clicking on the zip file, which is going to bring it up and give me trouble because it's not going to be able to open it, I'm going to click on this button right here, which is going to take me to the folder that it's in. Okay, so then we take our simple goldfish. We, we don't want it to stay in the downloads, even though it looks like, you know, keeps everything. 
we want it to be somewhere that's accessible. So I'm going to take the simple goldfish applique and you can um, right click on it. Okay. Sorry. Okay, so here is our simple goldfish applique zipped file folder, okay? So we wanna take this whole entire file and take it and put it onto the desktop. Okay. Now you can drag that to the desktop like I did or you can right click and copy and paste. We're gonna go ahead and close this because we don't need it anymore. We're gonna also close this because we don't need it anymore, okay? Now it's on our desktop, but it's still zipped. So we need to right click on it and choose extract all. And it's gonna give us a new folder. And we're gonna go okay. It's gonna give us that same exact folder name, but without it being zipped. And so even though you only needed, say, one 4x4 PES, you're getting everything. So if you um, progress uh, in your sewing machine or in your embroidery machines, you don't have to get new files. You can just go back to your same files and you'll have this goldfish in all those different sizes. Pretty great, huh? Different sizes. And if you get a different type, you'll have the, the different um styles to choose from okay so this it also gives you a picture of what it should look like we'll bring that up real quick so she has a nice little thing to tell you what everything is going to do so let's let's zoom in up here okay it's kind of hard to read i understand but there's your three steps your dye line. So say that we're doing this on a towel. You're going to put your your um, stabilizer down, your towel down, and then it's going to give you your dye line. And that's going to show you where to put your fabric. And then you're going to take your applique fabric and you're going to put it over that dye line. And then you're going to get your tack down. In this case, it's going to be a zigzag. So that's going to help your um, the satin stitch to stay nicely together. So the second second step on this is going to be your zigzag tack down. Now once that second stitch is done stitching out, you want to cut around your edges. If you don't have a cutting machine that has already cut it for you, you want to cut around the edges at that point and make sure to get as close as you can to um to the tack down without cutting any of the, the stitching, okay? Because whenever that's done and you're done cutting, you're gonna press the next button and that's gonna be your final stitch and that's gonna give you your beautiful satin stitch around everything. And so you don't want any of that bottom fabric hanging out too far or it's just gonna fringe and look crazy. All of my stuff looks like that. So I'm giving you guys experience tip that I don't even use myself very well because I just don't cut that close. Um, however, I did just realize that I can cut my, my cutting machine. I've been afraid to use it for fabric, but it cuts wonderful for fabric. So I'm really excited about that. If you've been thinking about getting a cutting machine, you're on the fence about it, you definitely should do it if you're gonna do a lot of applique. So let's go ahead and close this. And now you know where everything is. Let's say, I'm just going to run through this real quick. Let's say that my machine is hooked up. It's not, but let's pretend that this Lenovo D is the right place. Okay, so I'm just going to open up that folder whenever it's time when I have my machine hooked up. And I'm going to look for the simple 4x4 PES, right? That's the kind that my machine's going to read. I can copy, right click and copy and then open up that drive or, and then paste in there, 
or oops, or I can just grab it and drag it over there. Okay, oops. Now it's, I'm gonna cancel that. But if I was gonna save it in there, that's the easiest way to do it. So actually, let's just do it to the desktop so I can show you. Pretend that the desktop is my embroidery machine. It's that simple. Right? Where did it go? <laughs> it was that simple. Something got lost in space. Oh. Well, guys, when I was trying to show you where or how to move the PES, I lost it somewhere in La La Land. So let's try this again. So I can take this simple goldfish 4x4 ART. I'm going to copy it or I can drag it down. I'm going to copy it. Last time I dragged, I chose the drag and or drug it down to that that file and it disappeared. So okay, so then it's right here onto this, onto your onto the folder. But pre pretend that that was my my removable disk. <laughs> Anyways, I hope that this helped. I know that I was a little bit all over the place with things, but it's because applique is a little bit all over the place. There's so many different ways to do it, so many different things to include. Um, when you're doing it, you kind of have to think in a different way than you've probably ever thought before. And then there's a whole different portion of machine applique, which is um, in the hoop designs. And those are really, really fun. Those are truly in the hoop designs. And um, I'm going to make a video about those too. So I'll see you guys very soon. Thanks for being with me. Have a great day. Bye-bye.